Okay, so now we're zoomed in. Here are the camshafts. Before you install the camshafts, you'll notice this particular cam gear has a set screw. This screw holds a sprung uh, gear here that keeps your gears from rattling, from lash. If you don't have the screw in place beforehand, not to worry. All you need to do is get this little tool here. Okay, you install it into these little holes in the back. So there's two little holes. You put the tool in the holes, and you can use this to turn the gear. Now to stabilize it, there is a nut built into the camshaft that you can put a wrench on or put in a vise to hold it so that you can turn the sprung gear until the hole lines up with this little 10 millimeter bolt and you just screw your bolt in to hold your sprung gear in place. Now, when you're going to set your installation marks on the camshafts, a rule of thumb to make sure you have it, uh, you're using the correct marks is the cam lobes should both be pointing towards the front of the vehicle on both camshafts on the first two lobes. When these two lobes are, for, are, are pointing towards the front of the vehicle, like so, pointing to the front of the vehicle when installed, that means you have these installation marks here that I've marked in white so that you can see correctly. So now we'll go over to the car and we'll take a closer look at the timing marks on the cam timing sprocket.